Hello, this is Robert Gordon, and as you may not know about me, I've been running a fairly successful Dungeons & Dragons campaign these last couple of years. Today I would like to share with you how I set up a campaign. First I start with drawing a map for this world, and I like including such features on this map as terrain, here's some forest and hills, and countries. I have borderlines around all my countries here. I then take a closer look at all my countries and create their own unique flavor behind them as you can see in my comprehensive system of electronic notes which I use because my book that I've been shoving all my old notes on paper into is starting to fall apart. For each country I give it its only unique flavor which one I have characters for the campaign. I get them to choose a country to give them more background and enhance character development. I then create prominent non-player characters in my campaign, such as the leaders of each of the country, which I'll develop to a lesser or greater extent in this campaign. I have a country called Takasashi with leaders of the same last name, Takasashi, who are very prominent and therefore I had an entire page of notes devoted to their family tree and their previous accomplishments. I then decide any political forces that I want in this world, such as at the beginning of this campaign, I had the Takasashi country invade their peaceful neighbor to the south, Owaga. I then develop a plot for the campaign, which is usually fairly generic so that it can be manipulated later in the campaign due to characters' actions, but also I include a plot twist at the beginning that I can lead up to with the events that happen during the campaign. I am then done setting up my campaign and I start creating encounters for the first session and get my players to roll up their characters. Thank you and bye.